All right, hey Leo, so I'm doing a quick energy check-in for you and the one on your mind. This is a soul contract read, so we're going to get to see what lessons you are pulling from this person and what they will be pulling from you. Um, it could be past, present, or future, so you may have experienced some, if not all, maybe none of them yet. All right, so um, when I did the intention or set the intention, um, it's going to be focused on your energy and then the rest is going to be their energy and then mutual what you guys will be going through. So let's see what Romance Angel is coming through. For you, we have codependency, and um, this is mutual energy, so you could feel it more strongly on their end. They could feel it coming from you. Um, but codependency, addictions are affecting your romantic life. Um, I really feel like this is going to be more on the scale of um, the investment of time when it comes to one another. It could be how much focus you guys are putting into one another. And um, maybe kind of taken away or deducting from um, other situations, uh, you know, the kids, job, uh, whatever, you know, codependency could be a huge factor and it could be that you're feeling that. Um, maybe you're not fully experiencing that because if it is a new connection, you could be like, well, what? We're so in love and all we do is talk and I could stay on the phone for hours and hours and hours with this person and then kind of not realize that you're negating um, other things, you know, um, like, you know, if you like to um, uh, indulge in self-care, maybe you like to uh, watch a TV show. Maybe you have a routine that you're putting off. Maybe you guys are, are putting off friendships. Maybe you're putting off um, family time, um, you know, for this person. Um, it could be in many facets. So we're going to see why that card is coming through. Um, I'll go back and forth on what I see through the energies, but let's see what your energy is. It could be too that somebody has mentioned codependence um, to you, and that's why this card is popping out, because maybe it's made you draw on and think. All right, so we're coming through with the High Priestess card um, for your energy with the uh, Nine of Wands and Justice. Okay, so what I'm almost feeling from this is you could actually be dealing with somebody who uh, they might struggle to actually give you peace of mind. They might actually struggle, all right, um, to uh, let you have um, your time, your space, your, your air um, to breathe, okay, um, because you're coming through with this Nine of Wands. Um, the nine of wands, um, again, it could be a reflection of you. Uh, hey, you know, the, the, I, I'm not ready to let you all the way in these walls quite yet. If you could take a step back. Um, it could be too that you're trying to penetrate through their walls. All right. So I feel like that kind of energy can go vice versa. And this is actually the first read that I've, I've dealt with um, on uh, the Zodiac's um, energy where I feel like it could be, you know, vice versa. Um, and if this person is actually holding back their energy, you could feel that they're kind of withdrawing, being secretive, um, and, you know, and justice card coming through is supposed to be, um, balance rewards. It's, it's a positive karma from the universe. It could be too, that you maybe know or, or recognize in the past, um, in your past situations that you've been a little more codependent. Um, now that you see it from a distance, now that you've um, had some time and space between you and previous relationships that you can identify what that is. So now it's time to change out of that dynamic. All right. Um, but let's see what this person's energy is. Let's see what their energy energy is all right so we have the moon card you guys are kind of being a little bit scared when it comes to that uh let let me let let me in let me in um with the lover's card coming through the ace of swords okay so here's what i'm gonna say i almost feel like this person could be laying everything on really really thick leo um, I feel like they could be just, I want to talk. I want to talk, talk, talk. I want to communicate. I love you. Um, I, you're everything to me. You know, I, I, okay. So here's what I'm going to say. Some of you guys could actually be dealing with love bombing. All right. Um, and that just like popped into my head because I can almost see that this person is really, and I just kind of feel like you're on high alert at this point. Um, and it, you know, it could be out of uh, coming out of a disconnection, um, you know, a reconciliation, it could be brand new energy, but you know, love bombing and codependency, I don't feel is flying with you very well. Um, and you could be pulling your energy back and this person could very well be like, well, why is Leo pulling their energy back? What's going on with Leo? Um, it, and if this person and you have dealt with each other previously, this person's definitely wondering why things are not the same. Okay. Um, 
but I do feel like this person, um, it's not to say that they're lying. I do feel like they are in their feelings towards you, but uh, there might be some, uh, needing to take a step back. Um, e even if again, so uh, let's just see what the mutual energy is, the mutual energy between you guys. Um, so we have the chariot card, the chariot card, the emperor, and the three of pentacles. All right. So the mutual energy I feel between you guys, um, it, it does set that there is a lot of potential here. Um, you know, but that codependency is just like flashing. It just keeps coming through here. And that could be one of the reasons why the chariot shows up in reverse. And one of the reasons why you guys have um, yet to kind of lift this off where the potential lies. And it could be too, that there's some strong communication that needs to come through that maybe you're um, afraid of having, and I'm going to say you, Leo, because I almost feel like that that um, the, the thicker energy could be coming out on the person that you're dealing with. OK, uh, but what I see here is mutual energy is I do feel like you guys see a, a potential good future. You see positive um, energy. You see success. You see fluid, mo you know, movement. But um, it, 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 we got to deduct that before we can move forward. You know, um, that's what I'm kind of seeing here. Um, and it could be too, if you guys have never dealt with each other, that maybe you're waiting for that one flag to drop and maybe it's not coming. You guys, maybe you're waiting on nothing. All right. So I, I kind of feel like whoever is still here at this point, you're going to know what I'm talking about. Um, you're going to know where this re card resonates. You're going to know where your energy sits and you're going to know exactly what I'm talking about when I come to this person's energy. And even up to now, it's not like a huge red flag. It's not like, um, it's the worst thing in the world, but there could just be like, Hey, I just need some space, you know, and there's these little conversations that need to be had on the side. But sometimes those little conversations can turn into a big, um, it's like, a um, getting anxiety or you're overwhelmed even thinking about it. You know, how are they going to react if I tell them how I feel, you know, um, it's a lot to ask for a little bit from somebody in a relationship, um, especially when it comes to the negative aspects. So let's see what they are here to show you, what they're here to teach you, what lessons you will pull from them. All right. So here's what I'm going to say. So what this person is here to show you, what they're here to teach you and what you're supposed to take away from this person. We have crossroads, divergent paths, choices, confusion, and following your intuition. All right. So um, it's I almost kind of feel and this is the first time I'll say this, but it almost feels like this could be a test situation for you. Um, but are you going to make the right choice? You know what I'm saying? Um, it could be that this person's met your kids. They've met your family. And it could be that that emphasis in itself is enough for you to put barriers on you. Um, you know, that codependent um, vibe right there, I almost feel like you could be getting that from other energies. So you could be feeling pressurized um, from mom and dad. Oh, that's a great girl. Oh, that's a great guy. You got to, you know, oh, look at they take care of your kid. They help you. They, they're doing this and they're doing that. And you just feel all this pressure. And um, I almost feel like that th this codependency could be based off of um, other factors um, that surround your life. It might not even be this person now that I'm kind of dipping into this. And we also have marriage, legal partnership, commitment, marital bond, and societal contract. We have kids, opinions, judgment, um, resolving family stress and getting support and crossroads. Um, so what I'm going to say with this right here, um, what I feel this person's meant to bring you, all right, as far as the crossroads go, is that you got this life, it's all about you. And you will recognize that nobody else's influence or interpretation is going to be set on your happiness, even if it's coming directly from this person. All right. Your decisions and choices are yours to make um, with family um, coming through. It's again, this person's here to, to be a reflection on what's important to you, the aspects that are important to you, um, not letting anybody else influence um, what it is that's going to make you happy. And I feel through this person, they're going to help you see that whether it's with or without them, you know, and then we have marriage, um, you know, legal partnership, commitment, marital bonds, societal contracts. And I almost feel like seeing this card and with family. Um, this could be a huge representation of um, somebody else's influence. And it could be that this is all bagged into one dynamic here, Leo, that uh, this person's coming through to show you um, that, that, you know, nobody's going to be, um, um, nobody places the emphasis on what you want in life. 
um, you know, and it could just simply be all divided up, you know, that um, it's time to kind of cut out some of the outsider influences. Maybe you've been reliant on family and friendships to kind of give you advice and lead you in certain areas. Um, and now it's time to cut that, you know, codependency doesn't have to be in the, the romantic aspect. It could be based on other people um, that are influencing your happiness. And that's what this person's coming through to show you. So let's see what um, you're meant to show this person, what they will learn from you. What they will learn from you. We have... Fresh starts, new opportunities, releasing the past, and second chances. All right. And this could be a second chance. It doesn't have to be in the midst of this. Are you guys reconnecting, if, especially if this is not a reconnection or a reconciliation? Um, but what you're meant to show this person is that, that fresh, starts, fresh, fresh starts, new opportunities um, do happen. All right. We can release the past and what we've been through, um, you know, and start, start new. Um, appreciate. Um, you know, your person appreciates you see the blessings and practice appreciation. Um, and then we have mirroring reflection, wholeness and synchronicities. All right. So I kind of feel like um, this person's supposed to bring or you're supposed to bring this person some uh, some warm. It's light. It's airy. Um, it's almost like what I see from this person is they it, I'm, I'm almost feeling codependency is completely coming from some other way. Friendships and family. Um but what I'm what I'm sensing um, as far as what this person's supposed to take away from you is um, appreciation. All right, for the here and the now, um, you know, and it, it, the mirroring, um, reflection, wholeness, synchronicities. You could be kind of um, elevating this person right here. It could be too that you know they're just they're trying to be um, more like. Um, more like-minded um, and if you know you guys have kind of pulled back um, it could be that you're seeing this person pull back it's almost like a um, an unspoken um, uh, wave of energy that's being sent to this person um, kind of learning boundaries from afar if that makes sense um, appreciation appreciate it's being in the moment like gratitude for meeting you, um, you know, it's almost like if this, if you have learned from this person to kind of cut ties with people who, in, who think that they influence your happiness, um, you know, what this person is, is actually learning from you or what they're growing and gaining from you is, um, that, that they, they do, um, place a mark of importance on people, especially if in the past they felt like they've, their um, advice goes like unsolicited and not taken into consideration. Um, sometimes just having your voice heard can be really important to a person, you guys, um, you know, and it's almost like a breath of fresh air is coming through on this person's end. It's almost like they meet you and there's just a, a breath of fresh air. Um, and, you know, you got, they're coming through with this, the lovers, new beginnings with the ace of swords. Um, but I do feel like they, they, you know, it's like, well, what's going on? What's going on with Leo? And it's almost like they're waiting for some bomb to drop. Um, and the codependent, I almost feel could just strictly be coming from um, people who have no emphasis on this connection. So let's see what's what's um, what needs to be accomplished or what's coming next. We got the king of pentacles. That's a sense of security. Slow and steady wins the race. And we got wish fulfillment. So I feel like what, as far as what needs to be accomplished within this connection is moving at your own pace, moving at your own pace, um, that Knight of pentacles, building a foundation so that it, everything is just right. Um, you know, this right here is a sense of security and then achieving and accomplishing the wish fulfillment in this relationship dynamic, um, moving at your own pace though. It could be too, that you guys feel a lot of pressure from everybody else saying, get on it, get on it. And you're like, stop. Um, so let's see what's coming next. What is happening next? Overall, we got, we're cutting and we're cutting and detaching ourselves from people who don't need to be involved in this new beginnings, commitment and wish fulfillment again. All right. So Leo, there's some positive energy coming through here. You guys are going to have to tell me um, who I'm talking to. I, I hope that this wasn't too all over the place, but I mean, I kind of had to dig into this a little bit to see and recognize that there might be some um, bigger influence coming out from people who don't need to be influencing this um, really. And I feel like you guys know that. All right, Leo, I'm going to leave it there. Take care.